The year was uh, 1990. The year was 1995, and the two competitive uh, major um, professional wrestling companies were World Wrestling Federation (WWF), now called WWE, and the World Championship Wrestling (WCW). This conflict resulted in something called the Monday Night Wars, where each business would start an Attitude Era, uh, causing PG-13. Uh, action in the ring, and storylines. Not just every uh, everyday, like, diva drama backstage, and it's the same thing every week, the same boring thing. Actual storylines would that would continue from each week and were actually very worth watching. Anyway, so, as you probably have a very good idea of what wrestling figures look today, but back in the mid-'90s, specifically 1995 and 1996, when the Attitude Era first began, they looked like this. This is Hulk Hogan from 96. And uh, now a lot of you don't like Hulk Hogan, uh, named Terry Balea. But he's still a... That's his Hulkster. Um, but he was amazing and nobody knew what to do when when Hulkamania went, went wild on them. Another, his tag team partner back then was Randy the Macho Man Savage. Um, he is actually dead now. He died in a car accident in 2011. Uh, I believe his last role in, in anything uh, before he got copied on TNA by a character named Jerry Lethal. TNA is definitely not original at all. Um, Shark Boy, when he was still on copied Stone Cold Steve Austin, but he can never be as good as he was. Jerry Lethal copied the Macho Man. He said, oh, yeah. Uh, 1995, 1996. So this is how they looked. Uh, they are made of a rubber. They are not fully posable like they are today. You can squeeze them. They were, they were meant for display now. Back then, they were meant for playing. This one's actually a little scratched up. As you can see here, it's a little... He's a little scratched, but the camera, I think, makes him look better condition than he actually is in real life. But they're not terrible. On eBay, I guess they would rate good, maybe acceptable. He has his Macho Man glasses there. Um, there's actually two styles to this figure, just red and then red and yellow. And I'm guessing there might be actually three with just red, because that would really make sense. He can go uppercut like this, like a... Yeah, like that. <laughs> um, or you could do like a headlock, like a... Here, let me show you if I can actually put it in correct position. Like a... Yeah, like, dang it. Okay, well, you, you know what a headlock is. You know what that looks like. That looks like maybe this. Can I, can I, can I, yeah, maybe like this. Uh, now I can't get them loose. There we go. You'll see these on places like eBay, or you'll see them in places like, um, uh, what's that good, uh, First Floor Attic. You'll see them in antique stores. These actually are not antique. Something has to be 50, year olds, 50 years old or older, but 15 and up is vintage. Uh, 15 to 50 is, 15 to 50, excuse me, is vintage, and 50 to anything is antique. These are vintage. Uh, 2001 was 15 years ago, so do the math on your own. Or if you did the math, you would know. You know, I'm not gonna get into that, because I see that my phone has really low memory. I'm not stupid. My phone just has low memory, and, like, literally it says 4 minutes and 56 seconds out of 8 minutes and 5 seconds. So I'm gonna have to clear out some stuff. But you basically get the idea. For these time, these were extremely awesome. Uh, these were extremely awesome for its time. Like, these were, like, the best quality ever, and you could not imagine anything better. These were awesome, and these were, like, a must-have for every child or adult collector. And nowadays, they're adult collector. Um, I mean, he's got really, he's got freaking fancy boots. Like, he doesn't look like he's going to fight. He's look, he looks like he's going to a fancy holiday party or something. Like, look at that. Look how awesome this guy looks, and his hair, too. Like, look at that. They really did a good job back then, and they're still doing great jobs today with their elite figures that are meant for collection or their regular ones that are meant for play for uh, kids. I mean, they like, 6 to, like, 11. You know, I don't know their age rating. Probably, like, 5 and up, 6 and up. 
yeah, nowadays, now we're in something called the PG era, and I swear to God, once time I saw the Easter Bunny come into the ring, and another time a Muppets character, like, what has happened? Like, come on, Vince, come on, like, what are you... Like, why are you letting this crap happen to your business? You had something going so good with the PG action and the actual comedic storylines. Yes, their storylines were actually funny. That continued on from week to week to week to week. They were actually funny storylines, PG-13 action. It doesn't even have to be PG-13 action anymore, but you're letting all kinds of dumb stuff happen to your business. Ask your parents... Ask your parents if they remember having these or remember seeing these at all, because chances are they most likely will. I know this isn't actually technologically based. These aren't technology or electronic. These are uh, rubber. You can get these pretty cheap on eBay. I know um, Hasbro made a couple that weren't really that good. Uh, they know. I know they made a Roddy Piper one. They made a uh, Roddy Piper one. That's all I know, but they made a couple. Anyway, you guys, um, thanks for watching this going retro. Remember to ask your parents about these, and I will see you guys another time. Comment below if you have something similar to this or have an even larger connect collection. I know, I know someone I know that knows someone they know because it's in their family. An older member has a whole basement full of memorabilia from the 90s, and it's incredibly insane, and I definitely want to go, go to their house sometime, but I don't. Uh, go to the house where it, the storage is, but I definitely don't think that'll happen realistically, but it's just a small dream. Um, any of you guys uh, comment if you have a collection or are looking to start one, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys. Um, bye. Can I review these five stars? Five and five.